Okay, welcome. Today we are looking at what to do with a crackling amp. Okay, it's not that often that I share repair stuff on my channel, but today is one of those days I just share stuff that I happen to be doing. We're mostly uh, tutorials, gear reviews, and guitar bass, all that sort of stuff, but this amp needs fixing, so we might as well do it together, and if you've got a crackling tube amp, this could be your answer. So we'll plug it in and see what it's doing. Okay, so let's flicker on there. Okay, so I've got no, no guitar or anything plugged in at the moment. It's, it's just going to be sitting there. And as it starts to warm up, it gets a crackle in it. It's got a bit of a hum as well, to be, to be frank. all this crackling. Okay, that's all coming down from the speaker cabinet there. Okay, so before these tubes get too hot, let's turn it around and see what's happening. Okay, so with uh, with this crackling noise, my immediate thought is power tubes. Okay, so these are my main power tubes here, the four big ones. Uh, and you probably can't see very well on the screen, but this guy is glowing a lot brighter than the rest of them. Okay. And the two down this end are really dull. Okay, so uh, what I've got today is I've got a new matched quad set of uh, power tubes to go in here, which we will throw in and see what happens. If you're after tubes, there will be a link in the description. Okay, I'll, I'll put the, um, the matched quad set in there, uh, but you can go and find any tube you want uh, or anything else you want from Amazon. Um, Using that link will help me out. Uh, they will give me a small percentage of any sales that they make through that link. So help us out. But I'm going to pull this head out of here and we will see what these new tubes do. The other note is that this actually tends to get a little bit better as the tubes get hotter. Okay, so that's another indication. Okay, so we've we've removed the head uh, from this casing here. Um, th this is actually a combo amp. I've just separated the head out so that I can ISO cab the um, the speaker cabinet and but still have my um, tubes out of the ISO cab so that they can run cooler. Okay, um, well, you know, so that they can not overheat. So uh, I've removed that, removed the cage off here, and then these clips on these ones just push down. Let's check my temperature first, make sure we're all right. And then while you're pushing the clips down, you can just wiggle those and they will come up. Okay, so see this one here, if you can see it is all silver on the end. This next one isn't. Okay, so that's another thing that makes me suspicious of these power tubes. Okay, so all four of those tubes are out now. Uh, these ones are the 6L6 uh, GCM. Okay, so 
those are um, important numbers to take note of to make sure that you are ordering the right tubes which I have ordered and arrived today from Amazon okay four new tubes and these ones are the JJ electronic tubes we will be fitting today okay um, so before we fit the new ones I'm going to throw a pair of gloves on okay there is some debate uh, between different people as to whether the oil in your hands shortens the life of the tube okay um, so I say better to be safe than sorry but I also know because I am a mechanic by trade that that's exactly the case with headlight bulbs in your car that your uh, the oils in your hands will actually shorten the life of the bulb if you touch the glass that's why they have little signs on them saying don't touch the glass right and in some cases that life can be very short if you do touch the glass okay um, so I, I wasn't surprised to hear that around vacuum tubes okay um, these also come with paper on them which is which is handy I've just chucked gloves on as well just in case but you can use the paper of course to handle them with okay so if we look at the bottom here if I can get the right light you'll see at one point there is a little lug okay on the center piece if you can't see it trust me it is there that little lug on top okay that is going to line up with the slot in here okay so they only go in one way around so if it doesn't go in don't force it check that you have it the right way around okay and we are simply gonna push our clip back and push that in there okay note also that these still have their nice silver ends on them okay so the other thing um, that is recommended when you are replacing tubes is to re-bias the amp okay um, which is to do with the um, voltage that is being sent to its tube okay my suggestion there is if you don't know about that and don't know what you're doing just even if you fit the tubes yourself but get get a um, professional then to rebias it for you because you have to have the amp powered up while you do it and the other side of this is just open circuitry and you know we, we are talking about 240 volts it's uh it can kill you if you do it wrong so it's things like that it pays just to get people who know what they're doing to do it okay uh, just to be safe right but for the purposes of this video we're just going to go as far as having the new tubes in so we can make sure that it fixes our noise So the number there, oh, that one, 6L6GC. Okay, so these aren't the GCM, but the different brands. So they fit and they will work. Okay, so those four are in there. We are now going to start reassembling with our cage first, of course, because nobody wants to break tubes putting the amp head back in place, right? Okay, so here we are, we are all rigged up and ready to flip back on. Just as another side note, always make sure that you're, if you're running like this, make, always make sure your speaker cabinet is plugged in um, when you're running this, okay? Um, it's all to do with current drawer and whatnot. 
Okay, so pound. Let's see what it does as it warms up. Cool. So I've got my bit of background hum there that's probably as much to do with the power in this room as anything. Just that little bit of background hum, but um, there's always noisy power in this room as everything I plug in is a, is a problem, but there's no crackle. Our crackle is gone because our problem were our power tubes. Cool, but uh, I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you got a crackling tube amp problem, uh, then this is what you're looking at, power tubes. Cool. Remember to click like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.